Don't get it around the other way. Don't look at people's resume. They give you the best version of the truth. Okay? It's wow, wow. What are you going to say? You're crap in a resume. Okay? Everyone looks at their experience. Just just be very conscious of this. Um, because ultimately, if you've got great systems, you can train on skill. So essentially, because you're training that system, it's the attitude which is the defining quality. Next thing is um, hire slowly, fire quickly. Really take your time. Don't get desperate for people. When you're desperate, you're in an anxious spirit. That anxiety will actually lead to a bad decision and you will regret it later on. They will do destruction to your business because the enemy is within. It's like a virus and it affects everybody. It's called negativity. It's called pessimism. It's called can't do this. And you're going, what's going on? And you can never leave your business because as soon as you leave the business, the darkness comes back. It's bad stuff. So essentially, take your time. You know, don't, don't just rush. Don't rush. Let's, hey, we haven't got the right person. Let's not employ. And then if you've got to cut, cut quickly. Just cut your losses. Get out. It's not working. Always have a probation period. Drive the probation period really hard. Do reviews during that probation period. Gut says courtship is crappy. Marriage is going to be worse. You will see the best in probation. If the best is not good at probation, it's only going to get worse. So, you know, you say, oh, they'll improve. They won't improve. If their attitude is indifferent at the beginning, wow, you've got some real problems as soon as they become permanent because they have security. They even drop their guard even further. And then they try to hit you for Department of Fair Trading. Um, so just be careful of that, guys. Um, got to do this. Strategy is overrated. Culture is underrated. Culture blows apart strategy every single time. If you do not define your culture, people will bring in theirs. One of the things that I'm passionate about is that you need to articulate your culture, your vision, your purpose, and you need to be proud of it. You need to be a fierce evangelist in your own business. You need to say, this is completely not democratic. It's not a democracy. It's a club. A club has rules. If you don't abide by the rules, get on another bus. You're on the wrong bus. And you say it's non-negotiable. These things are not negotiable. These are our seven points of culture. And don't do motherhood statements like integrity, honesty, because honesty can mean different things to different people. It comes from your cultural background. If I actually say to certain individuals in certain countries, what does honesty mean? They actually think you can still be corrupt and not get caught with it. It's a very different philosophy that you actually have. So if you're going to articulate culture, you need to actually say, Honesty in our business, in our business, honesty means the following. Bang, bang, bang. Really specific, really precise. So you do this because you only have to do this once. And when you interview people, guess what you do? You present your culture. And you know what to say to them? Halfway during the interview, you go, please feel free to leave at any time. Because what you're doing is you're actually setting up the precedence to say, this is it. You don't have to like this. If you don't like it, please don't join us because you won't be happy. I won't be happy. Let's just actually have a partnership here. When you become attractive, you attract the right people. The key is, how do I present my attractiveness to the marketplace? You do it through your ads. Your ads are not skill-based, they're attitude-based. Suddenly you go, a guy rings up, he says, oh, I've been looking for you all of my life because you've attracted him because you've become attractive. Fantastic. Be proud and promote your culture. Owners need to be cultural communicators, but the owner has to protect the culture. If there is any attempt to actually change the culture, you need to go back into the business and stop it. You need to rip it out. Many organisations are classically are founded by people who have great culture. Their vision is beyond money. And guess what happens? They leave and guess what happens next? The culture is actually ripped apart and destroyed. <laughs>